Hello everyone, I'm never that welcome to my channel. We are going to be looking at SCPs today. Specifically SCP-999, the cutest, most adorable, sweetest SCP in existence. I know I've done videos before on SCP-999, it's not the first time. And I wasn't complimentary towards the SCP because I always try to be ironic. But I do like SCP-99, it's like the best one. I mean, no, there are many more interesting ones. This one's cute. And if it can make 682 laugh, I mean, well, it seemed to give it very dangerous powers. I gotta go reread the other one. For this one, we're going into SCPs, switching out of phobias. It's a new thing. We're gonna try it out for a little while. I do wanna do some phobias again, so we'll probably get back to that here and there. I might just, just bounce around randomly between the things that you guys like. But, um,. Got to make it translucent, so putting a little bit of a base on there, uh, shading it, glowing it, lighting it up. For certain characters, we're going to put a glare on it. And I don't really like that glare. It's making it look like it has the wrong shape. It needs to be more broad, because it's blob. It's not like a motorcycle exhaust pipe. So, yeah, we're going to fade that out. Again, I learned to do that sort of fadey out thing uh, from Loading Artist. I was watching one of his streams and he was doing that. Um, there's SCP-999. So anyways, very simple. We're done! No. To be ironic, we're gonna do the video and we're gonna say what if SCP-999 had a bad side? What if he was like a bad guy? Or at least he had a bit of an attitude. Uh, so I think even with an attitude, he's super cute. So, gonna make him cross his arms. Crossing his arms, or pseudopods as they were, um, he's definitely not to be messed with. I mean, if you mess with him, He's going to make you laugh. And worse, you might pee your pants. So, you definitely don't want to mess with him at all. And we're just going to give him sort of a motorcycle hat, which I'm just going to guess is like a leather kind of flat thing. And he's just going to look tough. I think he came out looking a little bit more like old Jacksepticeye. The one who wasn't really the intention. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe maybe he's channeling early Jack vibes. Could be. Um, he's going to be... They're all orange. Because they're all SCP-999. But he's, he's super ticked off. You do, you owe him money. You're in his... You knocked over his motorcycle. And you really... You need to run. Because he's not just going to tickle you. He's just not going to stop. You're going to say he's been stumped. Yeah, the line between pain and... There's no pleasure with tickling. You're laughing, but it's... It's excruciatingly funny pain. I don't know. You guys know. You guys know. Uh, we're gonna have the shady, glowy thing. The, the light, the glow. He kind of... It's on his eye, which I guess is fine. It struck me as a little bit like... Clockwork Orange, I guess. Which I haven't watched. But... I feel like it shouldn't be on his eye, but it's that's the light. That's the physics of it. And I'm not going to turn off the ray tracing just because it looks weird. The next one, uh, not sure. We're going to make him fat. Like, he's already fat. He's a blob. But we're going to make him, like, a okay, cake. We're going to put a little tiny. I was thinking a normal size crown. But what if we made it really tiny? The tiny accessory is always very cute on characters. Uh, so <laughs> he's a little. He's trying to tent his fingers, but he doesn't have any fingers. So he's tenting his pseudopods, uh, and he's just gonna be a devious, evil little blob who's just plotting his next tickling attack. And you never know when it's gonna come. It's usually when you don't want to do something, and then they're like, "Oh, you sure you don't want to do it? We're just gonna get tickled, anyways." Always be mindful of who you're tickling. Um, your boss, not a good choice. Uh, the gas station attendant, also not a good choice. Um, yeah, there's lots of people that you really shouldn't uh, tickle. It's not recommended. I didn't add a jewel to the crown here because no. <laughs> he can't afford that. He's, a, he's he's only got blob peanut butter salary. He doesn't have gemstone salary. I don't think they pay SCPs anything anyways, unless that's part of their containment procedure. So, moving along. We're going to go into a different area uh, of an SCP. We've got to put another one up above. So I wasn't really sure. I don't like stacking them. I kind of always pictured my characters on a plane. If I'm putting things above, then they better be flying. 
but we're gonna violate that a bit here because uh, I just want to fit more characters in. Sometimes I enlarge the canvas horizontally uh, to accommodate that. Lazy this time. Uh, but I also want to get them in the same frame when I zoom out later. This one, I thought maybe he could be jumping in from off frame. I'm trying to picture how a blob looks while jumping. A little bit. It's hard to do a. I don't have a blob on hand to throw. Uh, so. <laughs> I don't, I wasn't happy with that because it looked too much like he was just fitting in the corner. So we're gonna change his body shape in a little bit. But we're gonna go with uh, Ninja uh, for the next thing. I don't really know why that's a bad thing. This was a fail, I think. <laughs> Each one of these should be a vice. Um, and I don't know why ninjas would be a vice. I just kind of wanted to draw a ninja. Not that ninjas are villains, but I don't know. Sometimes I'm just drawing stuff because it's fun. Uh, so, whatever. It's fun. And this is what we got. Here we go. That's better. That's, a, that's better, I think. Yeah. He's, his blobby body is just whooping through the air. And he's, he's jumping on you. And he's gonna... You don't know he's Kato. The, uh, the orange blob. It's not gonna be throwing a shoe. Who throws a shoe? I don't know what kind of... That's a Ferrero. No, it's not. It's got the twisty thing. It's a lint. Yeah. Um, he's going to be... I was tempted to do four of these. It's going to be Michelangelo. But no, he's got to be a black belt. So he's got the black headband. I don't... I don't know. Well, it's debatable if that's even a head. So, yeah. We'll let it go. We'll let it pass. But he... This guy, the CCP, eats candy. It's exclusively his diet. Uh, so... Ah, oh, man, I kind of want to eat him. He looks delicious. It's like a living jello. But we got to draw him with his candy. It's a key attribute of this little guy. But he's just adorable. Um, nobody would ever want to hurt this little guy. And if he wanted to hurt you, you'd have to let him. I mean, he's cute. Like, if a two-year-old wants to slap you, you're like, oh, okay. Here you go. I think I've let two-year-olds slap me before. No. They've bitten me before, but that wasn't by my choice. The glare with the shadow, I put it under the shadow so it wouldn't... Yeah. It's hard when they clash up against each other anyways. Not a fun time. The last one I had, while I was drawing the ninja, I had in mind a uh, pirate, because... Uh, logical thing when you're drawing ninjas, pirates are the next best thing. Uh, and pirates are more definitively, uh, you know, villains. This one, I was thinking he would be a software pirate. He's going to put in some DVDs, but then again, who knows what a DVD looks like anymore, so... No, and I also don't want to draw a DVD because those things have weird little rainbows tucked away in them, and that's not happening. Too much time. <laughs> We're going to put a weird alien parrot on his shoulder. Uh, not a real parrot, because then I would have to put the effort into looking it up, and that's a whole lot. that's a whole other drawing just on his shoulder. No, these things are time. I've already drawn way too many things for this particular video. So, we're going to just go with made up fantasy lizard parrot thing, which is more fun. I mean, maybe it's another SCP. You don't know. It could be SCP 999 3A. So, it has its own properties. Maybe it's an extrusion of his arm. Although, I don't think SCP 999 is that capable. Also, can I say, the TikTok captions cannot catch me saying P in SCP. They always go SC space the number, all spaced out. I have to retype it every time. B odd. It's clearly SCP. Why you gotta drop the P, TikTok? Why? Why can't you hear that? S is SC a common word? Because it does get things right that it shouldn't get right. And I'm very impressed sometimes. Um, particularly the phobias. Although often they're wrong too. So you get some, you lose some. The cute little uh, skull and crossbones. Don't want to draw that realistically. I want it to be cute. So you got a little smiley face there. Jangling them in. I kind of, oh, I would like to do a cute icon series, but for what? <laughs> it's fun to draw. Icon. I really like icons. Um, not my favorite things, but up there. <laughs> up there. 
And Rooker. So we're going to wrap this. He's He might be my favorite one of this. I think I like him the best. He's got the most accessories. We could have done like a dragon fighter, whatever you call those, knights. Uh, but that's not a villain. Maybe we should maybe we should do a hero series of uh, orange blobs. Possibly. Anyways, the reason I want I think I might do another edit of the SCP-999 video where I'm not attacking him. <laughs> because I had a thought when I was doing all this, what if instead of me just trolling SCP-99, which is rude, what if these were actual other blobs? They were different colors. And they just embodied other emotions. Maybe we cut the SCP-999 that was happy, but maybe there's a sad, maybe there's a melancholy blob that if it touches you, you get really depressed. And then there's another blob uh, that's just angry and you get super angry if it touches you. Um, actually, one of my books has this happen in it and the blobs, they absorb emotion, but they can also give it out. Uh, so it's kind of a, not quite exactly the same idea, uh, but this is what I was thinking. What if there were other colors of blobs? And so I might, I might try doing another edit of that one, also because it's not doing so well, so I should probably try it differently. So I had to tie up the parrot's head a little bit because it looked too lizardy. I uh, didn't really like that, so we do want it to look a little bit like a bird. I completely forget what parrots look like. I know they have many colors. This is what happens when you don't pull up a reference. You get garbage, and that's what that bird is. That is trash. I don't remember what the patterning is of this. And also my shading on this guy looks way too light. And I'm about to find out a little bit later that it is too light. It, I had set the opacity at 71%, which is meant for the glare layer. I had reversed the glare layers on the previous guy. Didn't notice when I copied this guy and now they're backwards. I'll fix it. It's way too late. Uh, that was bothering me a lot. It's like, ah, what's, what's going on? But I'll fix it after I do this. It's not a big deal. You can fix everything in digital. That's why I love digital art. Physical media, horrifying. If I was painting with my acrylic brush and it was like opacity 50%, I would be freaking out because that's permanent. Can't undo that. You gotta go over it again. It's not gonna look as good. Yeah, I really like this guy. He is cool. Oh, I like him. We gotta have um, SCP-99 Adventures or something. Uh, where it just blah. I was gonna do Gerald in here somewhere, but didn't get around to it. Um... I would have because Gerald already looks like this guy, just with legs. Um, they could have a little discussion. But here we go. We're going to change the colors of each and every character. I'm just going to select. There's probably an easier way to do this. Uh, I could have selected by color. Sometimes you're like weighing, like, is it faster to do a lasso y thing or is it faster to pick? And I don't usually select by color. I'd have to hide the colors. Anyways, I'm doing this. Which turned out to be slow. Because <laughs> the characters get more complicated later on. And, then <laughs> and they get just messy. So, whatever. Yeah. I'm using the hue adjuster. Great. Ooh. Hmm. Ah, yes. I do love the rainbow. I love the spectrum. It's great. Rainbows are always just... Mm. I, I always love seeing all of the different colors laid out before me. It's just like a brand new pencil crayon set. That, that I can never use because I can't wear it out. But these guys look really cool, and they're different colors. And this is what I envision: like there are different blobs, different colors. They all have different effects when you touch them, when they get near you. Maybe they have different intentions. Maybe they have different plans. Because SCP-999 seemed to want to save and make people happy. So, what if the others don't have the same intentions or plans for us? Hmm. Maybe a little bit of worrisome. And then I forgot to kill the video, uh, so now you're seeing me doing my recording. Uh, so I would hold my camera, move it around. Turn them on and off as I go around. Turn them all on at the same time too fast. That's how I do it. Uh, and that's what it looks like. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, really appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.